Looking at this inkwell and its stand, this is one of our more ornate pieces I would say that we have. It has this glass well with a brass topper. Its stand has decorative kind of organic shapes, but it also has a griffin there. If you can see that underneath that glass portion there, it's a griffin, possibly a phoenix, but it looks more like a griffin to me. And it's just kind of curling up and around into the ornate piece here and you can see there too there's an arrow like the tip of that arrow feather there is coming down towards this kind of beast and it looks as if the beast is being pierced so it's kind of like slaying a griffin almost motif here which is really interesting and this inkwell and stand was owned by Olaf H. Stive or Steve and he was one of the early men here in Freeborn County. He was a clerk in 1898. He was a part of Company 1 12th Minnesota Volunteer Infantry. That would be in the late 1800s. There was a group that formed here in Freeborn County that was to look after the families of the people who had gone to the front, gone to war. And during that time, several members of the company that came out of Freeborn County uh, ended up coming back on a train because they were um, sick or injured and among them was Olaf and he was taken from the third division hospital brought on a train back to Albert Lee where they would be taken care of by their family and he was you know nurtured back to health before that though Olaf was also treasurer of Albert Lee the district court he was the treasurer and his daughter, if this is the um, correct Olaf, because there's an O-H Steve and there's an O-O Steve. So if this is his daughter, Gertrude, um, she married Mr. Lemke, who was the owner and creator of Lemke Dry Goods, which as of 2023 is the antique store. In, um, on Broadway. But this inkwell would have needed to be used before ink was actually inside of our pens. 